right, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, uh, with the twelfth session of the Planetary Fragments Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Uh, by the way, there's always been a link down below to the PDF of whatever the setting book. It's free; you can pick that up. But there's also a physical copy now. It's like eight bucks. If you want to check it out. In addition to, like, the setting info for the world, there is also uh, the, like, weapons, like, the modern equipment they use, and a couple pages of the optional rules, including, like, the dual classing and things. Just check it out. Even if just the PDF. That's free. Or $8 for the physical. Uh, anyways, on to the game. Uh, we have... Ooh, it's been a couple weeks for us. No, nope. right. All right, we have Nick as Tana, we have Bob as Yin, we have Ryan as Rin, we have Austin as Yarik. Eric Resrata. <laughs> Eric Resrata. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Yarik. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. Uh, let's see, last time uh, y'all explored and looted the Ares Corporation. Um, I'm pretty sure we learned an important lesson about DMs giving you? puzzles to their players. <laughs> Which is that DMs really shouldn't. <laughs> because players <laughs> are mostly idiots. Uh, you have not counted the money you took. What are you talking about? That's all sealed. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Because you of have not counted <laughs> the money you took. Because of evidence. <laughs> uh, you investigated where... Um, other more modern proton packs might be two were checked out All others are missing uh, you ignored spider silk you banished a lightning elemental um, <laughs> you brought <laughs> looters uh, to safety and and then they went off into the woods um, you sealed the closed uh, portal areas and like when you'd already closed and sealed a five foot section open uh, then you sat on the fifth floor of a building debating how to move forward for a long time <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that you introduced us to the end boss scenario oh yeah nowhere near the end boss <laughs> I'm just saying, usually your games are so linear, it never occurred to me that we were allowed to sandbox our way to death. <laughs> it's never happened before. My, my games you, are supposed to be sandboxes. <laughs> are you kidding? Your games are gigantic plot trains. No. Uh, I mean, there was that one that was a plot boat, but that's been a while. <laughs> but, uh, what is it? The Not the Banished, but the Worlds Collide. That, that, that was a big sandbox of which we refused to play the game. I remember. <laughs> uh, no, so far our best sandbox has been the one game that we played that wasn't filmed with us going around assassinating nobles in their homes. I don't think I was here for that one. No, that was that was the game I ran because uh, I, I with the that was back at the old house and I didn't have enough room for everyone to be part of a game. So while I was filming one, I was. Running a separate on a second on a separate day so other people could play and oh uh, I figured I just wasn't invited because I'm thrown to misbehavior. No, no, you no. were working. Yeah, it, it uh, was your ninety hours. Oh, week right, phase. that was fun. Yeah, it was a while, <laughs> while back. But yes, that was what literally I just let them where I disappeared for three months. But then I could afford yeah, something. What, what's the plot <laughs> of this game? Guy throws a dwarf out a window, causes problems for the rest of his friends. <laughs> I mean, that's what he gets for littering. <laughs> turned into. <laughs> Anyways, so you are on the fifth floor of a building. Uh, are you going to continue debating, or... <laughs> yes, you so you divine inspiration, we should probably just leave. Yes. Well, I think we all figured out, with a little help, that uh, there were fancier, more up-to-date packs that would be better that we should be looking for. Yes, my, my character finally uses his intelligence and like, yeah, oh, feel free to like for the record, ask for checks. He yeah. was the only one who knew <laughs> about those. Yeah. I went down there to rob, rob the vault. I didn't and even. the lightning elemental. 
I didn't even think about the proton packs at all. That wasn't a thing I was looking for. I was oh. there to rob the vault. See, I <laughs> thought that was what you were all there. Okay. No, I was going to the armory for money. <laughs> armory for money. Interesting. I it's mean, a, admittedly, you got some. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vault. Anyways. So, we hide and then pull our way back out to our base camp with the other group. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, they've been basically retreating their their wall to their couple miles outside of the town again, where activity is lower. Um, they do mention, you know, repeat again for those that didn't know that the, uh, uh, the couple of um, individuals had fled uh, Some people just south of the pressure. Panic. Uh, put up the like what time of day is it in the evening probably about an hour hour and a half until put up the uh, fort invite the other guys in if they want to for camp and sit there and collate the data I have found today to put together de- uh, spiders in vault, spiders in forest looters with spiders also gone into forest, proton packs missing, could be spiders took proton packs into forest with looters. And I spent uh, the evening working this out with my big brain. <laughs> I, I set up a tent inside of the Animantium Fortress and be like, uh, I'm going to need some private time for things. And I close the curtains and I proceed to count my money. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> a lot more normal. <laughs> And I'm guessing this is basically just entering into your long rest. Yeah. You have 6,000 gold. Yay. Nice round number. Exactly. Now you can take that gold and buy all the grenades you want. No, I can make grenades. Can't you, like, shift metal into things? You can just make golden grenades if you want. Mm. Yeah, yeah. If it's mostly metal, I can make it. Yeah, just equivalent exchange. <laughs> yes. Okay, so just 6,000 gold. Anything else? Uh, there was the stuff that you'd gotten last time as that I went as you went from the um, things, but I think I just turned that into cash anyways. Uh, I don't have that written down anywhere, so... You... Gone forever. And it's gone forever. Uh... It might have been things as I gave little bits of money as you opened up individual... Uh, oh, no, you gave boxes. me things, as I recall. I don't, but it's been... We, we went a couple weeks without filming, so... <laughs> hmm? So you guys do anything during your long rest? <laughs> Time to go to bed. Long rest? Mm-hmm. That's what I do. So, you are here. Um, one of you will need to make a luck check to get through the evening. And also, is anyone doing watches? Yes, still watches, but no luck check for me. Plus three. Nine. 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 So, since I now have a count on the gold, is it still taking up the vast majority of my bag of holding? Yeah. But I don't think 6,050 gold would take up my entire bag. That's a lot of coins. It's like, it's isn't 50 gold a pound? So No. They're really crumbly yeah, it's coins. It's 100 gold is a pound. Cool. Just 60 pounds of gold, it's not that much. Pretty sure bags of holding are limited by weight and volume. <laughs> I don't think 60 pounds is more than the weight. Uh, 50 gold is one pound. <laughs> oh, okay, 50 gold is a pound. So, 120 pounds of gold. 500. 500 pounds for the bag? Yep. That's okay. I don't have much in there. Yeah, you also had a lot of alcohol in there, if you remember. Yeah, I have a half a bag of liquor. Which I guess I can take that out now. Well, you could just have liquor. He was going to sell it. (laughs) Yeah, I'm just going to take out all the liquor. And put it where? 
I'm gonna start giving it to the guards. Okay. Well, so. I'm gonna be like, after I count all my money, put it back in the bag, I'm gonna take the liquor bottles out <laughs> and just start canning out bottles of booze. Except for like the good rice wine spirits that I need for religious rituals. So, I give away all the alcohol except for, I'm gonna go with four bottles of uh, sake. Rice wine. So, into the evening. I can spell rice Most wine of the guards now <laughs> hung over and That's completely. A I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, unable to do much. As the road, who's on first watch? I usually am here. Second watch? Probably me. So as you're probably sitting on top of the tower, the tower feels like it just shook a little. Look down. And again. Look, I still look down. Yeah, nothing else, anything? The whole high, like raised highway platform you're on seems to be vibrating a little bit. Okay. As uh, from up, you see a gargantuan brontosaurus coming up just making its way up the road and you your tower and the wall are in its path as it is making its way in your direction well it's a dumb animal it'll go around most dumb animals it's can. a raised highway okay and the, <laughs> and the blockade blocks the entirety of the raised highway yeah it would probably just step over if it's as tall as you say it is if it can yeah it's its center mass is probably going to be on level with you. It's its head that you see first above the tree line. Spook it. See what it shoots out of its face. But it's lightning. <laughs> okay. Because they're thunder lizards. Thunder, thunder, thunder lizards. Ho! I like, yeah. I like the dude who plays the anvil. You know what's weird about Thundercats? Lionel's like 12. Yeah, he has a He-Man situation going on with that sword. A uh, He-Man is the same age in both forms. One of them is bigger and muscular. Cool. Okay, so how far away is Lionel it? Lionel gets an advanced stage to lead. Let's say 50 feet at this point. Okay, vanished. Be gone! You're away from the crack! Uh, well, welcome uh, to I Charisma, charisma I mean, Check. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> charisma? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does nine make it? No. <laughs> it's a yet again. I've done this twice now. <laughs> a single enemy encounter. Oh, bitch! This is never <laughs> not funny. <laughs> you know what? I noticed something. Banished is a uh, powerful spell in this uh, in this setting. Yeah. Oh yeah, in this setting. Uh, I also did it to the mummy, or no, no, the Death Watch, whatever, from the Magic Beans of Go home. <laughs> We well, that, was, that was the last campaign, and that was, you know, a lot of things were not from other things. In this one, any of the foul beasts are technically from another dimension. Another yeah. So it sees me, and I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Its mouth glows blue, and lightning starts to... But it's gone. <laughs> oh no, it just healed its family. <laughs> Little foot, no. <laughs> If I run into a little shit bed on vengeance, this is not my fault. <laughs> you didn't even kill his father. You just sent him home. <laughs> and his father passed his mother. <laughs> Anyways, you take your time to concentrate. And otherwise, your evening goes fine. Uh, morning. Hey, I got my spells back. Hey, exactly. you long rest. <laughs> I have more banishments. <laughs> so he sleep, he has to sleep in until until you guys have yeah, made through your breakfast. <laughs> that's fine. It gives me time to cast aid 
and rest. That's fine. We still take an hour to do our morning prayers. Mm. So salute the sun. That we that's not actually isn't kinda kinda isn't that a praise the sun? Yeah, the whatever the <laughs> dark souls. <laughs> dark souls. No, no. Yes. No. Yes, it's dark souls. Mm -mm. Yep, dark souls. Uh, there uh, Smash Brothers. We fit training. Yeah, <laughs> she does. She does praise the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she does the yoga pose, which I think is actually salute the sun. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, and that's what I meant. Salute the sun is. No, but that's not what he was doing. But I think it's the arms up one. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> like, once we're done with that, it's like, okay, so we need to go track down those spiders. Does anyone have higher survival than seven to go look for tracks? Do you tell them? No. Do I tell them what? That you know where they're at? Or at least that Genshi knows where they're at. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know where the spiders are at if you're talking about them. Oh, then let's go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just need to go and find the portal. You, you, whatever, use your, um, use the portal or... There's not a portal seeking function on the proton pack. Huh, it's got a, uh, the mirror thing that allows you to see where the tears are. That's to see the ones we've closed to really tiny. Otherwise, they're just visible open tears in the universe. The magnifier is the thing that that is. Yeah, 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 so you can see it from further away. I don't think you realize how magnifier and binoculars are different. <laughs> Does not realize. Yeah, one of us was wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I was just one I was listening uh, visual to. Visual distortion bubble five feet around you that magnifies or telescopes. Huh. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, did I do that? <laughs> I, I remember. However, it was also set within the trees, so it was below the tree line, so that wouldn't really mm. help for that. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to go and actually. But yes, it does also telescope. <laughs> Dredge through it. Then we go to area if we're not immediately attacked by spiders. Then survival check to start hunting for a portal. We get tracks. Uh, okay. Get that out of the way. So, do, do we get our temp HP and our increase of max? Yes, that's what I'm doing. Eleven ten. Well, you suck. Last time it was thirteen. It's based on a die roll. It's not level plus stat like it used to be. You <laughs> suck. Last time it was thirteen. Because uh, no game's complete without just a daily temp HP buffer. <laughs> Wing. I mean, if they're gonna give it to us, there's no reason not to use it. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, I have to <coughs> guess use a spell slot if I wanted to re-summon my dude. <laughs> Your dude? My little cannon. Slash shield generator. And I'm not abusing the system of I have them out for an hour and I can keep re-rolling until I hit max. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I don't get the plus one. Why don't we just do that? I don't know. Are, are you <laughs> using your forge ability? Huh? Do you want it? Yeah, I'll take it. What do you want it on? Uh, armor. Okay. Right. So do you communicate with the other group as far as what is We're going on, a reason for them not to advance forward as you're seeming to abandon course, or do you just let them go to their own devices. No, no, explain that or going off to look for the poor pa proton packs that were stolen from the thing by the spiders and because this rinky dink one won't close that and they should stay here to keep the dinosaurs mainly in the city are they drunk yeah it's like go oh uh, they're hung over now <laughs> <laughs> defend yourselves until we come back with the tool that we'll need in order to <coughs> actually solve this that yeah, listen pretty well Then we trace off through into the forest. Yeah, let's Secret go. Time, let's see, I, I can show you guys time. where I last, uh, or at least Genji last spotted the spiders mm -hmm. while he was taking me away. So it's he leads one of them basically down 
one of them does. It's the same direction the other two had to. <laughs> Maybe what? those guys weren't looters, but in league with the spiders. They're That's demon, ridiculous. They're demon cultists. We don't know that. They're That's ridiculous. With the spiders. That's ridiculous. They could still be <coughs> us and say anar and rap. Anarchists. Yeah, an anarchists. <laughs> what? <laughs> Arcane an anarchists. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, it's easy enough. You'd already found the plot little getting your bearings every so often, but otherwise, yeah, you managed to get to the section of the forest that is <clears throat> unlike in the building where there was some webbing where they had gone around or at the edge of the city when you'd fought the couple before where there was some strands between the buildings and the forest. Here you get to what is just a wall of web. And it is thick. From seeing through it, it looks like at least ten plus feet thick to the other end. You can see occasional bits of movement on the inside of this, but they have basically secured around, like, uh, basically a barrier around their encampment of just thick web. Catch on fire? Is it a... Um... It is also in the woods. It go. <laughs> Is uh, the, the area that they've uh, cordoned off, is it large from the inside? Um, if you kind of try and... Uh, if, if someone's going to try and see really how big the total is, I'll, I'll need a stealth check from someone because they'd have to be kind of moving around. I'll do it. 18, 28. Yeah, you'd say, I'm uh, guessing 80 feet... Right. Sort of around the outside. Like a, is it a square? Hexagon? Kind of oval-ish. Off, off circle. Yeah. <laughs> is it a dome? Um, if you fly, uh, are you on a broom? I I'll climb a tree. Okay. Cause uh, it does seem to definitely go up. But we can't see trees poking through the top of the spider webbing. Or he can. Um, how tall up in the... I mean, yes, the web goes up through the trees. So it, it's like a complete wall going all the way up. I don't climb to the very top of the trees. But yeah. it's not like 40 feet and then it domes in. Yeah, it, it is going up towards the top. Oh, okay. It's just spiders all the way up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It always has been. <laughs> How close are we to the webs right now? Um, the rest of you are probably, I'd say, about f 50 feet back from. Incendiary grenade? <laughs> I, I, I smart. I think force catch on fire if burn web. Uh, yeah, if you if you if you uh, if the web is enough that it catches and will keep burning, then that will keep the fire going long enough that it will catch the, the wood on fire. I don't have any way of putting that out. I don't have a frost ban or a control fire. There are a couple spells that just put out fire in a large area. I don't believe I have any. You're a druid. Maybe you do. Oh, yeah, I you're a druid. Wall of fire. <laughs> Not super helpful. <laughs> I don't think douse is a spell anymore. So, sneaking around, is there any openings, or is it just completely solid web all the way around? Nope. Okay, um... Either perception, or depending on if you're willing to mess with it, investigation check. With my 28 hide, yeah, I'm willing to investigate. Yeah, control water requires there to be water. Okay. 26. Um, and you're, with your stealth, you're able to get away before they go, but you do know that you've, by doing that, you've let them know that, eh, something, but maybe it's just an animal that got messed with it, but the, the, enough where they're, you can tell that they're responsive to someone messing, messing with, with, the, with the web. Yeah. Um, sense within web. Yeah. But there's not an opening, but you can tell there are areas where there has been made an opening and then closed up. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and you can find a few spots that look like they've they've done that at some point to send people out and and reseal it. Gotcha. Someone's controlling the web. I mean, how much of the forest could really burn? Well, once it's going, it then keeps itself going. So we at need, most all of it. We need to pre-burn the forest around it. <laughs> and that might give it away. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They're still circled with fire. Uh, well, if they've got the equipment that we want, we don't want to damage that either. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the spell. It's create or destroy water. I don't think destroy water would help. Yes, but you can create water. What are you, uh, and if you're rain. trying to come up with ideas, if you're sitting there trying to plan, tell me like what what's going on in your head. Like, like yeah. if you're trying to make some sort of. Uh, well, this morning I also did reprepare spell of freaking swapping out levitate for invisibility. Okay. Uh, uh, the only thing I'm thinking is grenades. So. Okay, so you're only thinking aggressive. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, while I'm up there, do I hear any chatter talking? Is any of it in common or elvish? Um. And can Vic understand them? Make a luck check. 18. Because this dice refuses not to roll 18 today. Oh, boo hoo. Uh huh. Um, Congratulations, I will never do it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's mostly that sort of infernal speech that they'd had when you first encountered them mm-hmm. um, and but you can hear a, a couple of voices that have a different cadence that seem maybe it, you can't hear it you're not sure that it's common but you're sure that there is some talking there that is not the same the same chattered speech that they were doing so some other form of voice so something that it does not have face wolf mandibles Okay, so there's definitely at least another person or another group in there when I tell, come back. Uh, we, It seems like anything touches the web, they'll know about it. So cutting or burning it will instantly alert all of them. We could theoretically hide and scout out the thing, waiting for someone to open it. But we Pick do up not, rock we, as he's talking. But we do not know how many people lab. are in the... I mean, you, he's not hiding that he's throwing a rock at the web. <laughs> I, I expected him was standing like slightly behind me. I just see a rock flow over my head. Yes, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna need is a defensive position as I go hide behind a tree. <laughs> and it's like wait and see if they open it up and send out a, a scouting party. Make a luck check. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Very average. There is a scout that's coming out, but they're actually coming out from up above something beyond where you're seeing. And they're making their way down, out towards the tree line where they're getting a bigger... Vision where you're, uh, there's a point where they're passing by. Uh, I need all of you uh-uh. to make a stealth check. Can we just make mine and get the other group good? Uh, does this stealth check rely on moving silently? I mean, are you trying to move around while they're doing, or do you? I am standing still. <laughs> but, uh, but he is in tree armor in a forest. Fifteen. Yes. <laughs> Twenty-three. If that helps. Uh, yeah, no bonuses. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yes, I have magic boots. I don't make sound when I walk. Mm. My feet break no branches. Like a ninja. Those elven kind or a different What's of elven kind? Mm. Because you get the cloak and the boots and you're basically a goddamn ninja. <laughs> With the advantage-disadvantage combo of the cloak. It's like, this thing's more powerful than I thought it was. 
So I think our lowest was 15, right? Yes. You know what I've been thinking about that was really disheartening? Hmm. Do you remember in Jumanji when... <laughs> hey, it's a okay. topic to go over while you're looking. <laughs> when the kid gets in trouble for cheating, and he's like, I wasn't cheating, I was just trying to roll the number, roll the dice so that the number I wanted came up. Isn't that what everyone does when they're playing the game? That's not cheating, that's what you do. It, well, it's, it's different. If you're trying, if you're rolling a dice, you are rolling it randomly. If you are trying to get it where a certain number will land on top, that is different. I so, do that literally every time I roll the dice. Well, quit doing that. Just don't look at what side... Spin it around in your hand some first so you don't know what side is facing what. No, that's not cheating. That was bullshit. Both that game and that lady are bullshit. Well, I'm glad off, that bad yes, things that game happened. totally is because it, it's evil. I'm, bl it I'm evil glad game. that that thing had to suffer through the uh, video game adaptation because we all know those are always garbage. I heard good things good. about it. I, 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 actually I don't know, I didn't watch it. They're, they're great, I love them. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I gave think. even both of them 4 out of 5, if I remember. Oh, that's not a that's not a good indicator. You enjoy things too much. Your happiness is too abundant. That's true. You know, to be fair, I'm glad for it. <laughs> you're, you're you know what, my life is probably better because of that, You though. should probably hate more things. <laughs> Your cheerful attitude is a drain on us all. <laughs> <laughs> so that you see, like, the underside of the spider body as it's sort of, like... All right, in a video game, there's, like, the thing where you, you turn, but there's the thing where you walk sideways. Straight. Strafing. Strafing. As it is strafing... <laughs> the, uh, the area where it had hit the web tried to examine what's been... Mucked with? Yep. Uh, do we want a ready actions to all attack it at the same time? I mean, I suppose we could. If it sees us, but... <laughs> You'd have a very difficult time communicating that without <laughs> breaking your thing. Well, someone starts shooting up, start shooting after, then we'll deal with the fallout afterwards. I mean, there have been some impulsive people in this party. Mm -hmm. well, this is one of the demon spiders, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I call out and challenge it to fight me. <laughs> like Can't spell? Leave. No, just, just regular. Okay. I have a sword and a shield. Go ahead, pull out that arrow. Pull, pull out that uh, bow while I take the dodge action. So it sees you. Yeah. Fight me. It leans down, and the spider legs start skittering in your direction. Oh, uh, not a bow. It's actually going to melee me. That works, too. It's a spider. Where would it keep its bow? The last demon spiders had bows. <clears throat> this isn't actually a spider leg. This is full dryad with the upper torso and mandibles, right? Yeah, this is, this. yeah, that red demon spider. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. was not communicated. The ones that all. shot the, the rusty arrows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No wonder you had <laughs> bad experiences. Uh -huh. It's like, I have more health now. I would still probably go down in one round. <laughs> I challenge it to single combat. And it can't refuse. Yeah, so it, it could. I didn't use any magic. <laughs> so, yeah, so it approaches and it will make three attacks. Which is rude. Nice. It's not okay until I'm allowed to do it, then it's fine. It will make two with its long sword. Disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me. I'm Austin and you need to be I took the dodge action. Yeah, throw that 19 away. Does 17 hit? No. 25 would have, though. We just thought it's good that dice got thrown away. And then it tries to bite you. Neither of those would hit. Yeah. <laughs> Austin's turn. That's the bullet on that first hit, though. Quite literally. Well, it's meleeing me. Uh, what do I have for bonus actions? It's like healing word and shield of faith. So nothing. Wait, no, I do. I do. I do have something. I gained um, 
Shoot, I gained a feat. That's right. We'll let you pick up with your feet. Shield master. <laughs> ah, I have to take the attack action to bash with shield for bonus. <laughs> I like that. Go on, attack him. I'm very fond of shield master. I, I figure uh, we we can let Rin deal with this as long as she doesn't rip the chain. So fighting with swords probably quieter than us firing your guns. Uh, for now, I'm gonna take the dog action. Okay. While, I, while I look up what the shove does. Okay. Now, his comment has left me uh, unsure of what exactly is going on. Because you've just said single combat. Are they getting involved in this? Or? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, I'm not I have involved. challenged it's, it unilaterally. It's single combat. Yeah. He's a crazy person. You don't involve yourself in the business of crazy people. Otherwise, I am... Yeah, I figured I you were waving, somehow distracted for some reason. I am waving my weapon threateningly. And dodging and hiding that yes. field. This this being is definitely paying attention to yeah. 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 So if you wanted to get away, you have the opportunity. Is uh, I, I was just thinking killing it relatively silently, and that's where Yin comes in as the most silent weapon. Yeah, Rain the grenades are the yeah. silentest weapon. <laughs> you said Yin. Oh, Rin. Well. <laughs> F you both for being I in. <laughs> there was a reason. I thought it would be annoying. I was right. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I remember both of your names. Mm-hmm. Yarek. Yeah, after I had to correct it a few times. <laughs> yes. Because you tried to call me Jennifer. Uh, it was Jin because you'd see it was It spelled wasn't spelled never J. that way. No, no, it's spelled that way. That No, that is what I said was Jin. Yeah, it was never spelled that way. You just don't know... <laughs> you just don't know how it's pronounced. Well, it was spelt that way. It doesn't. No, that's not how it's spelled. Mm. J E N is not Jin. Nope. Well, what is it if not? It's a soft J. Yes, but that's still how it's spelled. It was also partially because of uh, Adam being <laughs> Adam annoying me about something about pronunciation of <laughs> J's at one point. <laughs> I'm like, fine, I'm going to give you a soft J and see how you like it. No, it was K- okay. it was K's and C's. You were annoying me with, so I decided to put a soft J in there to be obnoxious. Do we a lot of the things I do is just pure vindictiveness. <laughs> I, I should probably get help. Mm. Uh. So we're accepting applications for <laughs> for a new fourth. <laughs> That's okay. Player in my D and D campaign. A lot of people don't like me. I already know that. I spend too much time dicking around. So if I um. If I spring on this guy and attack him, am I a unseen attacker? So do I get advantage against him? Um, if you're going to do some sort of ranged attack, you probably could be. You, you, you could would just be go to the back. You would be seen flank. by the time you're going up there. Mm. Yeah, you, you could just flank for advantage. Yeah, that's true. I can just flank for advantage since Austin's right there. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and get uh, on the other side of him. Okay. Right. So, 21 hit? No. Yes. <laughs> it's like, uh oh. I was about to say, I'm very glad I'm still hitting. Dangerous. Not well, but. <laughs> I think it's like D&D doesn't give its monsters high AC except for like the dragons. 24. Damage? Yep. Okay. And higher. Well, as we've discovered, lots of health is a way to balance a game. Not always the best, but usually pretty. Twenty-seven. Good. Yep. Okay. Is that it for you? Yep. I challenge you to one-on-one combat. And just you spins and around. me and my guards. <laughs> <laughs> Guessing twelve doesn't hit either. Mm-hmm. But does twenty five? Yep. So if bite gets you, that would hit me. Yeah. Well, I would have had disadvantage against you. Mm-hmm. But we'll roll again. See if you would have hit. Uh. Wait. 
Wait, what so did you get? 25. Can you shield out of it? No. no. Three piercing damage. Alright. Well, that's what you need once you get in the 25 range. You need the shield. <clears throat> and six poison damage. Get paladins one of the ones that get poison immunity, or is that only one? Disease. Mm. And then, in that side of you, are doing anything? Uh, how much did you take? 12 and 6? Uh, yeah, a couple. Uh, I've got two more hit, temporary hit points. Okay. You got it? I make an attack roll. You have advantage. Oh, so I do. This is a 20 something plus hit. Yes. Uh, that's uh, 12 slashing damage. Thank you. And I use a bonus action to try and hit with my shield. Mm -hmm. You also have just another regular attack action. Oh, right. I'm a paladin. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. Extra attack. Who makes regular attacks? <laughs> Uh, does actually 20 hit. Yes. Another 12 damage. Mm-hmm. Now I make a bonus action, and we're going to I'll make a strength athletics check. Do I need it? You will resist with strength athletics or dex acrobatics. The same. DC 20. Nineteen falls down. I knock it prone. <laughs> As you take this, that quadruped, but octoped, and go. <laughs> Unless it's immune to prone, yeah, exactly. so I just knock prone. Go shield master. And also, this seems pretty beefy. That's pushing like seventy-five. Not me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you definitely got advantage on it now. <laughs> <laughs> double, double advantage. 17? <laughs> Miss. Right. <clears throat> 20. So, hit. Crit. 10. What are you attacking with, by the way? Great sword. Okay. His chainsaw just not revving it. Yep. So, 10, 12, 13, 30. Okay. Is it magical? Yep. Um, if it matters, mine wasn't. And none of you um, speak uh, Abyssal. I do. You do? Um, it starts chattering in a loud voice. Uh, small fleet. Attack us. Send them. sense. I mean, if there was a dude in big armor up front and all of a sudden somebody came in from behind his deputy, I'd definitely kill the rogue first. He, he did s swing on her. All right. <clears throat> he killed himself? Kills himself. Victory! You know, just kind of a... <laughs> He's trying to take our XP from us. Yeah, yeah. fucking rude. <laughs> kill steal. So you have a moment. You just started that. Do you do anything immediately? Uh, I am next round. for the spell snare. Approach the web. Okay, so you start walking away. All right. What about you? I'm pretty sure I cast my aura, but I'm checking the duration. To see if I actually cast it. 
I'm going to be using ghostly gaze. One minute. Are those spiders large or huge? I think they're medium. Spiders or that's true. I didn't ask. If it large. Was, okay. Large. If it was huge, I wasn't allowed to knock it down. Phew. I forgot to ask. Yeah, casting time of one minute is probably still too long. So what are you doing? I take the dodge action. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> I, you I get next to uh, Ryan and take the dodge action. Well, well he, he moved it to the trees, right? Yeah, he's w walking up towards oh, the weapon. Yeah, then yeah, I stay in the middle of the clearing. Okay. Because through the opening... And I take the dodge action. Where's Al? Arrows. By the way, I, I, I can't Four manipulate webs with of web. those grubs. <laughs> grubs? The the worm beings from inside of its body. Ah. Through the opening that it has carved. Oh yeah, I forgot they had those little parasite things. <laughs> Are those range attacks? Nope. They're all things just jumping at you because you're standing next to a dead body. Yep. So you're dying, so. I don't like that 17. But How about that 3 that's been on all of them? Hey, now. Uh, no, that's 16. I was gonna say, do, do these grubs have plus 11 to attack? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you just have four of these red grub things jumping up. Trying, trying to bite into you. <laughs> they fail. Just yeah, saying, this whole combat <laughs> thing's a lot better when you're just observing. <laughs> <laughs> I like the part where things couldn't hit my AC. <laughs> he built a character around it. It's hilarious. <laughs> Is it? I think so. Really, because there's there must be a divide on this side of the table from that. Cause it's <laughs> less funny over here. I'm just saying. I mean, it was funnier when I also could not be hit. It was even less funny then. It's a little funnier when it's Austin. <laughs> Why is Austin's Austin? enjoyment better than mine? <laughs> because he also burns an action to dodge every turn. I didn't just build a character with massive AC. Yeah. I built a character who disrupts the enemy while having moderately high AC. Yeah. I, I mean, know. even right now, you're still tied with a for AC. You have 22? Unless it's a range attack, and then it's 24. Okay, so how about we all don't pay attention to how much AC I have? <laughs> okay. And you're a monk. You can take dodge as a bonus action. Uh, but he has to burn key points. points. Yeah, but yeah. you got like a billion of those. I have eight. Exactly. Similar to eight, a billion, a billion. much less. Um, I played monks where I never had key point problems. It's because you don't use them. <laughs> and neither do I really. I, I do just call out. Are, are we just attacking them? If so, I'm going to put down the fort so we have, you know, a defensible position. Okay. That's a pretty good idea. I'll put down the insta fort. There's not space. There's not a 40 no. thing in the woods? No. no. Does it destroy there the trees? trees in the way? This one specifically doesn't because I couldn't have it deal damage, therefore it can't also destroy a building or push trees down. <laughs> He got the non-aggressive version. Mm -hmm. oh, the aggressive that's... version was a military uh, grade. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. lame. <laughs> Camera's hot. Oh, Oy. oh god. Yeah, or only lasts a minute. I'm in a significant amount of pain. I decide that. What well, was a good idea yesterday was go over to my buddy's place and help him do a whole bunch of uh, yard work that he needed to do. So like muscle fall. pain? Yeah, because uh, he has a horrendous inclined hill, and I had to go up and down it like 60 times with, no, weed eater. And then I also had to carry a bunch of fancy grass out, and I totally forgot to bring my paracord, so... We had to wrap it up in a tarp, then use trimmer line to tie the tarp closed. 
and then use more trimmer line to tie it onto <laughs> side by side to get it up the hill. So I've been walking, <laughs> one guy's inside the side by side holding onto it, and I'm walking behind it, pushing on it. I live in a condo, I have zero yard work, and I like it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, he lives on a lake, so there's benefits to being helpful. Mm. Until he moves to Florida. <laughs> if he moves to Florida. Mm. Were you doing something? Uh, thinking about getting my flamethrower up. It does, it is, Same does, problem. it does yeah, not thinking. have that thing of sets unattended objects on fire. <laughs> I don't think thermite it's does. fire. Though. Does thermite have the sets other things on like, fire thing? Firebolt doesn't. I'm yeah, pretty it sure does. Firebolt specifically does. Yeah, uh, it does. Well, let me rephrase. Firebolt and Fireball both say they set unattended things on fire. This one does not. It's fire. <laughs> but it doesn't say it does. The difference is those are magical fire. He's not even magical fire. No, no. Mine would be semi-magical fire. Yeah, if it's, if it's vulnerable it's to cannon. dispel magic or counterspell, it's definitely magical fire. Well, it's not vulnerable to either of those. Oh, then yeah, it's not fire. It's not magic. Yeah. <laughs> what if about it, my if it thermite? Works in an anti magic field. It's not magic. Mm. I don't know. This game got really weird about SUs. I do summon. That's because I got rid of them. Yeah, <laughs> a little walking turret out of nothing. But is that magical or not? <laughs> but you, fire you, set things sets things on fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do you gotta be so picky, Adam? <laughs> That's why lightning is a superior element. Also, sets also occasionally sets things on fire. No, it doesn't mention it anywhere in the spell spat block. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all up to me. Well, at that point, might as well have like ice knife set things on fire. Ice yeah, knife also what, occasionally sets things on. Fire. What tyranny is this? <laughs> 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 okay, I, I've heard it before. Is my little hunting or? cannon does the force blast which pushes people back and does damage not fire or anything just force damage does that make a big loud noise it's a cannon Nick or no it go it's boom, super quiet boom. <laughs> I don't actually know what you're talking about so. it, it, it is the thing that gives me a flamethrower the, the force shield or this other thing there's a little table. Um, force blister. Uh, yeah, we. Hooray! Yeah, we. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would say it would make as much noise as a ballista, which isn't silent, but, but isn't, isn't super incredibly loud. loud. So it's not grenade level noise. Yes. Uh, you are also positive that the shouting was heard by the people yeah, inside. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's all, they've already been alerted. So unless okay. Okay. is the issue that we want to make a hole in the? Are we throwing grenades? What What are you trying to do with the flamethrower? Oh, I was going to burn up the grubs because it's an AOE. Oh. Yeah, that probably won't matter as far as setting things on fire. Well, that's what I was saying. Oh yeah. No, no. The issue is if you set the webbing on fire and clear the webbing, the webbing is kindling that will burn easy enough that will light get hot enough that it will cut. Yeah, yeah. I, th I also yeah, thought it's you were not catching like we're in the a webbing dry, on fire. Dry forest. It's okay. wet. It has to warm up before it starts burning. But as it does so, it will keep burning because it will keep itself going. Is the issue? Yeah. If you just want to flamethrower the grubs, yeah, that, that's far enough from the web that you're not really worried about. Okay. Then I'll spend a level one spell slot to resummon that, mm -hmm. and summon it in flamethrower mode, and then just have it go over to Austin. And can I angle it to where it's only hitting the grubs? They all came from one side versus them. They're around them now, but yeah, I'll let you. It is not a. You can kill the grubs. Okay. They are not a realistic threat. They were a up to twelve of them uh, at once. Hmm. There were four. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I, I assume that my help was not necessary yet. Yeah, my spells are too important to waste on such things. Yeah. So two d eight. When they would need a deck save, or you just saying they burn up and die. Oh, burn up and die. Okay. So have this guy for a minute. 
And now we're waiting to see what the enemy does. Okay. What are you doing? So uh, I'm approaching the web I've uh, cast, or I've uh, activated Ghostly Gaze. What does Ghostly Gaze do? It allows me to see through uh, solid objects up to 30 feet. Up to 30 feet. Um, and, I mean, you can partially see through this anyways, enough that you can kind of see some movement. So it's, it's only partial. But, yeah, you can see a couple um, on there, and they're kind of, you know, maybe climbing on the air side and angling themselves at certain points. But they don't... There's nothing from that you see that is necessarily coming straight towards it at this point. Oh, okay. So, so they've taken up, like, positions. Yeah, there's a couple that have taken little defensive positions. Okay, okay. Now, uh, do they seem to be looking directly at me, or are they just... No. If anything, they seem to be looking inward towards the center beyond your 30-foot range. Oh, okay. Anyway. So, I'm gonna go ahead and summon a sniper rifle. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. Mm -hmm. Does he know that I'm shooting at him? He does not. Alright. We definitely love our advantages here. And Rin that. loves her advantages <laughs> here. Well, yeah, well, she's, she's a crit she, fetcher. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, also using regular ammunition. Okay. Wait, so they have like partial or nine tenths cover, or is it full cover behind their web? I mean, it, it's web, it's zero cover. So I can see through it in one. He can see through it because of his ability. Yeah. I'm saying me. Oh, you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they would be at what? How far away are they from me? Uh, about it, it, 30 feet. Is there anything right, less right, than right. full? Yeah. Okay, then I can shoot no problem. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, three quarters is the highest that they. <laughs> it's like you say nine tenths. I mean, is that a thing anymore? No. <laughs> it definitely was at one time. <laughs> Probably in that book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't they come out with a new D and D book, or is that another? Uh... Not to date the content, but tomorrow. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it, it, it keeps telling me on my Amazon that I should buy this new D&D thing, and I'm like, I don't know if it's out yet. 22 Ballistic. Okay. Yeah. I got a problem with pre-ordering. Like, as an institution, I have a problem with pre-ordering. Uh, I don't, but I'm I'm just going to go like to the and pick it up tomorrow. 23. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty damage. Okay. So there, you know, it's broken twice with that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you do anything? Well, if I can, I'll start shooting too. Now that we're in the shooty phase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Targeting the same one. Yes. Definitely hidden. So advantage. That's plus less than minus or four. Nineteen hits. Ten, ten, twenty-six. Mm. Oh, and d sixes. How many d sixes? Four d six. Uh, 11 more, so 37 overall. Is it okay? Yeah. And Peachy. bonus action hide. 22. In the same spot where you just shot from? No, different tree. Okay. <laughs> so movement and hide. Okay. But <laughs> I'm a ghost in the woods. <laughs> so you're just like, bang. Yeah. I can't see this thing. Yeah. Gunshots came from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, move, move after I shoot too. Um. So, 
My thermite grenades are definitely magical fire. Hmm. Frags should be good, though. Yeah, but they have a humongous radius. We're but not in there. Yeah. The enemy is way over there. How far are we is way over there? 30 feet away. Uh, well, if you're at your original starting position, because I don't think you've moved, you'd be 80 not feet away from where yeah, they are. Yeah, I, I haven't. Okay. I will move. Because we were like 50 from the web, and then they're like 30 feet within the web. Mm -hmm. Is there openings in the web? It, you could maybe throw something through it. There's Throwing definitely... an object like that through it would be a disadvantage. And if you failed, it would be in the web. Yeah. Which but would... You might where destroy you... it. <laughs> yeah, which could yeah, possibly... It is magical. It is a magical grenade. Because all of my grenades are <laughs> magic. Oh, okay. Because you're a monk. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're not actually magic. It counts as magic. They're magic. They're magic for the uh, purpose of overcoming damage resistance. They've been infused with key. They're magic. Uh, Not but, actually magic. But yeah, if they cast, if someone casts detect magic, it doesn't show up as magic. The the bullet uh, trails should your magic have not some magic. sort of opening for you. Just saying. Yeah, now it sounds like through the bullet hole. <laughs> it sounds like he doesn't believe in magic. In a young girl's heart, <laughs> how the music can move her whenever it starts and magic and okay it's groovy i'm gonna try and throw a frag grenade in there let's see if this i way. make it 16 That's or okay so my low is uh 22 you throw it right through that bullet hole <laughs> <laughs> and you blow up the dragon okay uh so, uh, e yes, it is 3D8. I was about like, the, uh, the save is, I'm like, all right, they don't get that. Yeah, they do. N no, th the other ones. Yeah, I wasn't worried about them. This was a single target. This is a single person attack. What's well, the ra ra radius on it? Uh, 20 foot. Yeah, you, you, you're hitting more than one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell the other guys being hit by shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 19 damage. Mm -hmm. With a profound apology. And it's a DC 13 deck save. If it matters. Oh, it actually does. I think one person might not make it. There's a possibility. There's a definite maybe. Yeah, one of them doesn't. I'm going to say the chick's half. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. So one takes nine and one takes 19. And then next grenade, uh, 19 hit. Yes. Neat. Oh, that's 15. Uh, 18 damage. And then he deck saves again. There was two. Uh, that one is still up. Okay. How's the whip doing? Pretty shredded. I'll let you go before them, since we didn't do an initiative. Uh, are, are you I then done? take ten steps back, ten okay. feet back, because I have now sixty foot movement speed. I, I am the fastest. Use guidance to give myself a D four on strength checks. Okay. And I'm going to try and tear that web down, or tear my way through it. Bull rush through and just not stop moving. Yeah, more or less. Okay. I'm trying to strength my way through this rep. You tell me how. So you're I just trying to run through, or are you trying to cut through with the weapon, or with the weapon help? The non match. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. That's ten percent more than ten. Yeah, it'd probably <laughs> help. Then yeah, I try to use uh. Make your strength check. There it is, hiding. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, 14. Right? Yeah, 14. Uh, what, what do you do? Uh, there's a point you, you've gotten through a little bit of it, and you're so, you just can't get the sword through. Do you give up on your sword? I mean... I can't do anything else this turn anyways. Well, no, you're... 
You can take more attacks. You can, you can make your way through this turn without your sword. Oh, or you can yeah. make halfway through now with I go, your sword. I go through without the yeah. sword. The sword helps because the issue is getting stuck in it, and you manage to get through a portion of it, and the sword is there. Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah, you can get through the end. Um, I have a shield. I don't need a sword. <laughs> uh, to which your immediate uh, area is there is an encampment surrounded. Um, there is sunlight through the top where things have been cleared, and it is just web atop. Like, the trees, like, the foliage has been stripped off of the trees on the inside of the web. Um, there are uh, visible six um, drider creatures in here. Um, and, and a couple little hut, little buildings. Um, and that's probably all that you're meet just... In the adrenaline, what you're you're noticing, just trying to well, yeah, I have no more actions. Yeah, <laughs> assess the situation. Yeah, I totally do. There's like six. Mm-hmm. Bonus action, shield of faith. On me. Okay, does that just raise your AC? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you couldn't take the dodge action this turn. Had to do something. <clears throat> of course you did. And that goes to them. I mean, look at this tempting target with the glowing shield. Surely he's no threat. With no weapon. Exactly. Just <laughs> raising his angry fist at you. He has no weapon. He's inside the web with us. Obviously, we need to focus on him versus those people outside shooting us and throwing just all of these grenades. I only threw the two. I have a feeling that if you're getting seen guns grenades thrown at you, more than one is a lot of grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in, in, in under six seconds. Okay. So, like, so we need specialized dice to quickly get through each of their dis... Or no, they're not disadvantaged. Nope. Oh, okay. They're just fighting 26 AC. Okay, what's backwards my math? They need 20s. And they are range attacks? 20s would still hit. Are they range attacks? Yes. Then yeah, they need to be 26. <laughs> nope. No 20s. Okay. Some good rolls, though. Ooh, look at that. 19, 18? <laughs> Surprise, nothing else. <laughs> 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 hey, that's your little thing. As you end up with. 18 uh, arrows pelting your way. I would point out that without that shield of faith, like, five of those would have hit. Because there were some 19s and 18s in there. Yeah, yeah, there were. Yeah, there were some nice numbers. Almost good enough numbers. <laughs> Almost good enough. To damage my temporary HP. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, this is a great character. <laughs> Is really good at, at least Back to your group. <laughs> I believe you're going first. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I just decided your turn's my turn. Yes. <laughs> Regardless of how many dice I was able to just roll there, uh, I d I'm not assuming this to be a challenging encounter right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you still aiming at the same one? Yeah. Okay. So, like 15 damage. Alright, next next brother. Okay. Though running in there has made it essentially that I can no longer uh, hit this. <laughs> Twenty one's good, right? Hmm? Twenty one's good, right? Yes. Eighteen. Right. Okay. Are you just aiming at one of the other the other close one? Yeah. One one that I can see. I mean, you can see half of them at this point. There's enough hole blasted in the upper part from his grenades. Yep. He's, he's shredded a big section of the web. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, move to whatever an area mm -hmm. of cover. Okay. Does it seem like uh, with the amount of web destroyed that we would be able to uh, move into the area without getting caught? You can move through his path. Hmm. What about uh, Genji? Would he be able to fit yet? No. 
Genji being able to fly, however, could fit through the hole he made. I don't know. You you could have. Right. I forgot his name. What's your Rhino? Kiramaxis. Yeah, Kiramaxis charged another hole through there. He's back mm -hmm. here someplace. Yeah. Come be a bullet uh, arrow shield with me, Kiramaxis. That is not his purpose. No. <laughs> no. Is his purpose being a pet? Yes. Hmm. I thought. <laughs> His purpose is to be a pet. <laughs> it's like, Obviously, it's don't like Ryan has uh, has a has a given that's mind. very much designed for combat. Austin, you're a man after my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be fair though. Here, Maxis has died. Genji has not. Genji <laughs> saved my butt. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Genji helped when you die. <laughs> mm. I'll take the hits first. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we that yet for you? Yeah, I just move into cover. Okay. I take a shot, get an eight, move closer in cover. I walk up and try to pull his sword out of the out of the. Okay. Takes an action, but you can do it. Okay. And then I go and put it in the ground next to him. Then I use my bonus action as dash and leave. <laughs> just gonna hand it back and I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I just. <laughs> I just walk up just close enough where it is incidental with movement typically. I walk up and go, here you go. <laughs> and <won't then> leave. <laughs> I guess between the two of you and you no longer be able to grenade, that is probably the most effective way for him to yeah, finish there's, getting there's in there. There's nothing else I can help with. Yeah, uh, that, that works. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> um hmm. and you? I take the dodge action. Does Shield of do Faith you, not last pick? more than a turn? Oh, it does. No, it does. Well, you already have them at 20. Yeah. Theoretically, couldn't you start challenging them off the web or... Uh, how Are they all within 30 feet? Uh, three of them are. So, yeah, I, I see no reason to upset this per paradigm. Okay. How about I take the dodge action? You can use the movement to grab your sword. It's in the ground right next to you. So, yeah, I can only pick that sword up and start threatening them to come down and fight me. <laughs> and and what like men. So now I have the same rolls, only it's disadvantage. Is that correct? Yeah, you need double 20s. <laughs> <laughs> they need to learn they have to come down and fight him like men. I don't know why I'm wasting my time rolling these. None. One. But Wait, not two. <laughs> <laughs> See, he would have taken damage. See, I couldn't allow that. One, but not two. If not queer, they'd have to be the same color one as well. Uh. <laughs> I did par partner colors for the dice. <laughs> but I'm just saying, when I made my tank character, I didn't know dodge action was a thing. <laughs> so I never took it. Oh! -ho! Yeah, but you're usually attacking and doing other stuff. That's why Austin's acceptable. He doesn't use his turns for active stuff. He, he he's literally bolt, he's bolt built dragon. his character to not be hittable, but to have methods of aggro. Yeah, yeah. he is an ag He is a video game <laughs> tank. tank. He's not like a like a D, a D and D tank. You, you made D &D. he's made a video game tank. <laughs> and I could not do much damage. I just have my pointy rapier of fire. <laughs> And I have uh, you see, you had enough that it felt like you were trying to, story-wise, get, get aggro. He is yes. mechanically <laughs> aggro. I had to be able to deal damage, because otherwise I would be ignored. I had to deal just enough damage not to be able to ignore me. Mm -hmm. Well, they ignore me. I can smite. I have spell slots. <laughs> I can put out damage. Yeah. Party. Mm. Is there a mm. five foot space that doesn't have web on it now that I've walked in there and seen it? Oh, yeah, no. There's like ten ish feet of web and then it's mostly queer on the inside. Okay, are there uh, monsters attacking? He would, uh, he's technically in your way unless you fly up with where he's standing. But I could throw grenades past him, yes. Yeah. I have evasion now. Oh! That's perfect. Did you already do what you did? Hmm. Yeah. What'd you do? Oh, I'm shooting, so that's plus four. So 23 to hit one mm -hmm. of them. That's 15, 25, 25, 31, 
48 damage. Got it. Move closer, uh, hide. <laughs> Tell me if you actually want me to roll the, these high checks. Yeah, w w yeah with, with the web destroyed, would I still have enough cover to be shooting them and getting advantage for being an unseen attacker? Not without successfully hiding from them at this point. Okay. Then I will cast Darkness on Genji. <laughs> so we move to phase two of you don't I have advantage. <laughs> As the flying motorcycle goes, parks itself next to a spider. So, globe of darkness. Yep. Okay. And let's see. Is there anything that I want to do with my bonus action? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Rev chainsaw. <laughs> That's what I do. I, uh... Yeah, I go in there, and what's the best, biggest grouping of enemies? Three. What if I don't care if I hit him? That's that's where you got three. Okay. <laughs> uh, Just throw a grenade at Austin's feet. <laughs> can I Not see? Not quite. He's, he's really more above Austin, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so I can see them. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna throw grenades at them. Okay. And they're on the web, or? They're in, like, trees and stuff in there. Okay, so I shouldn't use thermite. That's what I'm hearing. So. Yeah. Well, you definitely can hit three with thermite. Yeah. I'm going to throw a frag in there. Uh, does 21 hit? Yep. Yay. 10. 18 damage to one. I also need 13 DC. The duality of spiders. There's a one and a 20 on their safes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Another grenade or just the one? Uh, yeah, another grenade. Sorry, I was communicating with someone who had to go to the hospital today. How dare they? I rolled as if I had advantage. I don't have advantage, so I'm just going to take the lower of these. Just, just roll again. Just roll one of them again. Well, <laughs> it's a 20 or an 18, so... I, oh, okay. you, that's you, why I was like, I was just going to take the lower one. I didn't see him. I didn't. <laughs> so. That's fine. I don't want to be like, oh, I crit. Not really, but. Uh, 10 damage. Okay, so that one falls at your feet. <laughs> the fool. I think you're ironic given last time was yeah. a, oh, I wanted a 20 and this time it's two tens. Yes. <laughs> These dice. Only be funnier if it somehow landed in between 10 and 11 and just hovered on an edge. Uh, They're angry at the abuse they've received. The From abuse you! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and However, I'm good news, got... his blood test went well. His surgery is on Wednesday. And I think that puts it to you. How high up are they? Uh, that one is 25 feet. That one is, uh, let's say, 35 feet. Yeah, I definitely can't reach them. Dodge action. Wasn't there six? Why are we only fighting two? I know they're further out. Than oh, because you're... The, they haven't come up to us yet? Yeah. But yeah. You can see them from their range attacks with your firearms and stuff. Oh, okay. Can I move a little bit further forward? Okay. And try to challenge them to come down and fight. Or at least waste all their broken arrows. That's right. Come on. Let's go. And there are five. Four currently, because two of them have been killed. Yeah. I'm an impenetrable and wall. Bloop. 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 Four orbs of darkness start kind of climbing upwards. Joke's on them. These have a 20-foot radius. <laughs> I can't miss. <laughs> also, Ryan just laughing as he shoots <laughs> them in their darkness. <laughs> you can still see through that darkness, can't you? Yep. Yeah, the question is well, they have their tremor sense for the web. They probably can't see you for giving themselves 
you advantage on hitting them. Unless they have see-through darkness dark vision. How, how far away are they? Um, like nearest one? Uh, probably at this point would be... And you're just outside the web, right? Yeah. Uh, about... 75 feet. Okay. So what's in the orbs of darkness? They are. Just the spider creatures? Yes, they have each cast... Like, yeah, darkness, darkness on themselves. themselves. Hmm. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hmm. And they're floating? Like flying? They're climbing. Oh, they're climbing. They're spidering away up into the trees. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Are they oh, all climbing up? By the up? way, with evasion, you still, I think, needed to do your uh, evasion... You have to roll. You have to still I roll. I didn't hear it. I figured it wasn't for me. It's like yeah, 13. It's DC 13. I failed. You need it twice. Hmm? Oh, easy to do. Yeah, dodge action. You that get one's advantage. fine. So the first one, I think, was 18. First one was 19. Second one was 18. And then, yeah, 19 damage and 0 damage. Are they all climbing up the same tree or different yeah. trees? Okay. Nope. Three of them are climbing up trees. The other one is climbing if you're, uh, up through the web. Okay. But it's magical, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's true. Yes, it's slashing. I did write that down. Good for me. Are there still spiders in the web? No, those are the those are the four that. Oh, four these okay. Creatures. So the whatever the ones that were like twenty five feet away from him. The yeah, but well, two are dead. Yeah. Two, two of the six are not dead, and they're, like, down near where he was standing. <laughs> yeah, the the dead ones, but the ones that he was, like, how far away are the living ones? They've they have continued to climb up. Okay, they've cast darkness, and now they're climbing. Yes. Okay. I will move in through the hole and stealth up to one of the buildings and hide. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to start investigating. I'm pretty sure they're running for a portal or something, so. But now I'm in the compound hidden. Okay, so the ones that are climbing, how how close in relation to each other are they? Because they're on different, whatever, trees and stuff. Yeah. Um, 20 feet from that, 15 from that, 30 and 40. Okay, so as far as like a chain, yeah, if it was like going around the circle, because they're like climbing around the outside-ish edge of this internal, okay, the so, inside of this webbing. So they're all like ten or fifteen feet. Well, away. fifteen. The fifteen before. was the closest. It was the nearest to oh, okay. another one. <laughs> so they're fifteen feet, twenty feet, 20 forty feet. feet, and thirty. Feet? So if I air burst one, I can hit all of them? Because it's a 20 foot radius. Mm, oh, if you air burst? Um, do you not know if you can do that? He's targeting a space. The space just has to be a three dimensional thing. It involves cooking off a grenade like a psycho. <laughs> but he's still targeting a space. So I'd be perfectly happy taking a percentage of oopsie. On a cook -off. Empty space is not like a ground space. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> so we're talking, whatever, something like, and then this guy's like way far. Weird, weird di it's like a weird diamond shape. It's. Show me. Without getting actual spaces, it's. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him. Whatever. These two guys are like. 15 feet away from each so other. So their darkness yeah. is overlapping. Mm -hmm. And then this guy. With the 20. 20 feet. Okay. So darkness and is this also is, touching. This one was whatever 30 and 40. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I think this one dude mm -hmm. is too far away for me to really do much of anything to him. Um. Don't forget, if any of the spiders actually start being scary and need to go away right away, banish. Hmm. I'm not wasting a fourth level spell on that. Oh. 
Is Spanish fourth? I thought it was third. It's fourth. Uh, well, I get two of those. Yeah. I just know Ryan technically could decide to take access to it. Because yeah. it's a warlock spell. Banish, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, they're like 75 feet up. I'm going to go ahead and take Genji. I'm going to fly up until I'm like near this dude. Mm-hmm. And get into a position to where I can see... You... Web. Yeah, webbing is along the outside of all of them. Okay. There's like a 10-foot barrier of web along the outside. So you have to be on the inside. Yeah. No, well, that's or fine. Or go through web. <laughs> Yeah. That, that's fine. I can, I, if I need to, I can fly through the hole and be on the inside, right? Yes. Oh. Well, I just mean if, if you're doing like a cone, it would not be so easy to be on this side of it. Oh, okay. It's on my side. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing a cone, but so I'm going to hit these three guys. This is what my plan is. Okay. Because it's thirty foot cone, so I can hit the three of them. But that guy is okay. way too far away, right? Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, I cast fear, and I'm going to hit those three guys. What does that do? Makes them scared, run away. Theoretically, if they run away and Ryan flies above them, if the portal's up there, they have to scuttle back down. Mm. And it's a wisdom saving throw. Seventeen. I'm guessing one makes it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so are they afraid? Yes. Okay. Anything else? Uh, mm, I guess I just position myself as best as I can to avoid getting attacked by the one guy that I didn't affect. Okay. Uh, well, remember, they're all in darkness and you're in darkness, and they only have tremor sense on the web. <laughs> Probably. They're so, also demon-like creatures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it depends on how much the race skin comes with extra powers. <laughs> I mean, it's totally cool if they do. Yeah. However, um, were you the last one or the first one in you guys' grouping? You took so long. I, I haven't gone. Yeah, I'm first. Okay. Well, there's no actual book. Well, I, I went inside the thing hid and started looking in buildings while hiding. Those little huts. Okay, so you, I thought you went up again. So you go into one of the buildings? Well, up if they have windows. Look in. If they do not have windows. Uh, they are like clay. Um, well, it looks like clay. Um, Waddle and Dob? No. Bloody human sc- or elven skeletons in you know packed together. <laughs> no. Um. Make a nature check. Uh, earth compacted within superweb. Uh, nature twenty six. Twenty six. Yeah, this uh, reminds you uh, as far as like the actual construction of it, closest to uh, that of like a uh, a large scale from what is like a wasp wasp nest Mm -hmm. where they've kind of hacked the you know saliva and mud and all that to make their their cones Mm -hmm. um and in it you just find basically what are a few like on the ground like layer of like raised dirt and then up above it a few basically it is bedding large bedding chambers inside Mm -hmm. of this thing that has uh, an entrance that you basically, even you have to squeeze down to. It looks like basically the size of what their abdomen is just that they could just fit through. Um, okay, so that's... But yeah, you can see, that. I mean, you can't see, and there's nothing in, in at least the lower beds, but the upper ends are above you because it's a cylinder. Oh, how, do I think like more than one of them could fit in, or is there like six of them, one for each? Uh, this one would have, uh, has like six of those spines. Oh, so there are still other huts and other things? Yeah, there's two other little hut structures, but... Okay, so I'll go explore those next. But yeah, you can't see, like, into anything that's on these shelves above. Uh, say I'm going to have Genji take the dodge action. Okay. And I want to get above them so that when they start running away, they'll go back down. What's Genji's movement? 90 feet. 
and you went from outside into and then up to them mm -hmm. at 75 feet up. Yeah. So you had no. No. You're <laughs> you're done for movement. <laughs> uh, a few dashes could I do that? And then not dodge. Instead of dodging. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and do that. Also the two that uh, were affected by fear, mm -hmm. they drop whatever they're holding. They're not holding anything. Oh. They, holding. they were not holding bows or swords? Mm. Oh. Mm. Is that why they weren't fighting at Austin? They didn't have anything? They had before. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did they drop them when they shadowed? No, they put them back on their back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Can I throw grenades now? Yeah, you could have been throwing grenades while they're talking. Okay, I'm going to start throwing grenades now. It's not a great number. <laughs> well, uh, at least there's not an intelligent thing to whack it in a different uh, direction. 12 to hit that space. Cove hits the space. Yay! And it's a uh, what range? Uh, it's 30 slash 120. Do I need to roll another dice? Or do you mean radius? What's the oh the twenty foot radius? I can hit all of them. Uh, and yes, it would be one twenty. So unless you have something that let's see, yeah, you need it. Okay, so still twelve. Okay. So I still hit. Oh, whatever. All right. Um. So Ryan's also within that space. Okay. Hmm. Uh, seven and then uh, fifteen damage for the first one. Uh, you need a DC no. thirteen for Puddles of Darkness. That makes good. So half damage. And Genji? Do you have mounted combatant? Huh? No. Um, wait, I, I'm within the radius? Yes. Yeah. He did fly up, but yeah. I don't, he, I don't think he, him being like another 90 feet above it would Oh, be. how far up did you go? Because I'm Is thinking you you're just a little bit higher enough that they're still how, scared how, down. Oh, how, mu how much uh, higher do I have? Um, I mean, you could full power 90. through the, the web at the top and go your full 90 if you really want. Um, but you you're probably only build. about 20 feet until you're entering into that web section at the top of the trees. Would I be able to punch through that web? Yes. Well, I'd do that. Yeah. This web is a lot thinner up here. It's Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll punch through and go my full dash distance. Okay. Then you are not in the range. Yeah. Uh, I got... I rolled two nines, which is in, like, the... Yeah. Ten is the DC. Yeah, yeah, it makes so, it. Yeah. So twelve. It's a space. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen damage on that one. Yeah. Okay. Which I can DC for half. And I can roll for half damage. Yeah. Also, I don't know how much damage the web took, but yeah. The web is conceptual as far as its damage. It's not. I'm not going to keep track of an exact number of. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to blast down the web unless I catch it on fire. Well, you're you've blown sections away from it. But yeah, you've blown holes in it. Yeah. Um. It's not like the web held up by one string. <laughs> you got it. Fine. So well, they moved up and away. Yeah, they've been moving up around the thing. But are they just moving up, or are they also moving away? Well, they're still in this. What is essentially a so sixty foot just been moving up. Yeah. Then yeah, I just call in Kira Max and get, and get on top. You continue hollering at these people to fight me. Okay. Because I literally um, have no range attacks. Ryan, yeah. I need the wording for the fear effect that they're under. Unless it is just... Uh, they're frightened. Use their dash action to move away from you for the safest available route each of its turns, unless it's nowhere to move. Uh, if it ends it's in a location that it doesn't have line of sight of me, the creature can make a new wisdom saving throw and end the effect. Okay. Um, so what happens if they have, if they can't see you? They can make a wisdom save. They can make a wisdom okay. saving throw. But what about before that? They can't run away from you if they can't see you. Run away from the last place they saw them? But they never saw him. I guess they run away from the direction the fear effect took place, I guess. Okay. They just run. Which still has them going up, is my Just run in random <laughs> directions. Just, just issues with your darkness. Yeah. They just blitz out. But they are. They're going up, and they're going towards the center, an area a little off to the side where you just passed. Um, and those balls of darkness start vanishing one after the other. And they're all foregone. 
as uh, to be clear, as <laughs> are the demon spider creatures with them. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Boy, boy, boy. So after all the dark globes, look up at where they disappeared. Do I see a big old? You're in a hole? building. No, I'm outside a building. <laughs> you edited the building. <laughs> I never went in. I peeked it. In. Then you didn't see what was in there. Oh, because it was so small. And yes, you would have had to crouch down and walk through an area this thick of mud stuff to oh, get okay. in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're out One of combat. Out. Then. Yeah. Technically, there's hidden dangers. Grubs are popping out of things to attack Austin slowly. I moved away. Uh, no. Grubs packed, uh, attack popped out of one of them that cut himself open. Oh. The, the other two got got shot or blown up to death. They didn't have a nice big gash for the things to... You, I mean, you can still go up and you can do your dissection thing that you guys seem to love to do, and you let them out. <laughs> What's this, you guys? So these grubs these two? cannot... <laughs> Physically eat their way out. Yeah, well, eventually. Oh, okay. We have to help them decompose faster. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, that that will not be probably today. <laughs> that will not be a today issue. We could drag them all into a big pile, and I could just throw my. Yes, these are these are bad things. So if we get, I start piling them up to burn. There, you have two. Then I pile. You have, I guess, three if you if you pull the one from the outside. Then yes, I pile those up to burn. Uh, I uh, give them a thermite grenade. As they're doing that, I one come Just out of that hut, look and How's see it work? the portal. Is there a portal up there? There might be. I, I turn mm -hmm. on shrink grow and use its telescope function to look up in there to see. Yeah, there's a lot of web in the way. Um, is there a portal? It's there? Definitely the not function. a tear, but yeah, there's something weird up there. Mm. Use the grow function, make mm. it bigger. Yeah, that's a tear. Then I'll check out the other couple buildings. <laughs> They're same construction, these sort of... So, can I make an educated guess that there were more than these six? That uh, there are enough spaces that look like um, 18 could sit. Mm. I will check the top of the building, see if they were storing... So, the, so the, place where, the place where they disappeared doesn't have like an open portal or anything. It has something up there. Go clear some web from it. And we can yeah. see better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you start doing that. Uh, you will notice in one of them, one of the bottom platforms um, does have uh, a jacket. A people jacket? A people jacket. Mm. Check its pockets and stuff for any identification or... It's, it's actually, as you pick it up, you find that uh, one side of it's kind of torn and ripped. Investigation to see if I can place that with Austin. Did you ever attack them when you were a weasel? No. Oh. Okay. They were just guys stuck in a building. Those were guys in cloaks. Why would I no. attack them? They were in cloaks. So yeah. Yeah. Anything that was beyond that, you don't sure. But they they were they were cloaked okay. externally. So yeah, just the investigation, I guess. <laughs> Checking all these things, see if I can find any clues. Uh, investigation is eight, so sixteen. Um. Yeah, definitely. the The idea is that this. You do not believe this belonged to one of the fiendish beings. Mm -hmm. Um. Perhaps was just not taken with them because it was damaged. Well, I meant investigation of the huts to see if I can find anything else, or is this the only piece of things that uh, make to... uh, an athletics check? Athletics? Yeah, he's having to climb through this oh. structure. <laughs> what uh, if it's 16? acrobatics? Yeah, acrobatics would be fine, but <laughs> 16. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, you're able to make your way up through them um and yeah you can find uh, most of them are empty you find that it seems that the uh, the upper each section seems more dug in and hauled out more uh, lived in enough that you kind of get an assessment probably um the taller the higher ones were more often used by the actual 
uh, spider creatures, whereas perhaps the lower ones were just used by people, hmm. um, because those ones are more flat and just off the ground, whereas these are almost like domed up kind of shapes. Um, you do find an array of um, metal shavings, bits from broken arrows, etc., uh, effects, tools, things that were being worked on in many of the upper ones. Nothing really of value, but that kind of. Okay, so the spider dens up here, people downstairs, and the people stuff was very cleaned out. Yes. Okay. It did not look like it would be a comfortable place for a person to choose to stay for long. Yeah. It was still a butt, like a mud uh, made bed. Yeah. So. Okay, then I'll go back out to the center of camp, look at the portal. You have found that there is, uh, in, in the tears that you've seen previously, that you've seen with the trolls, with the gnolls, with the dinosaurs, those have all been physical tears, as if the world were a sheet of paper and it had been ripped in a section and something was pouring through there. Hmm. This is not like that. The only thing that makes this different than the portal that goes through, uh, that used for transportation isn't, isn't against one of the outer walls. This is a foggy portal, almost like uh, ripples towards the center, that you cannot see what's on the other side. It's not an immediate opening to it. It's, uh, it feels more like those passages where you, you pass through fog and end up in the Divine Realms. This, this is some sort of portal like that. It is not the the ripped. It is a different style of portal. It is not the ripped kind that you have found um, in these situations. Oh, so recently. Well, the thing that makes the most sense is just start throwing thermite grenades through there. It could be to a divine realm, because carpet bombing a divine realm probably not the best idea. What are they gonna do? Smite you? Oh, that's fine. Uh, once I go back to the middle, I'm going to take out one of my tracking beacons, turn it on, and bury it. Okay. So that if we go through this portal, we'll have a beacon back to that portal through mm -hmm. it to here. Why, why are we going through the portal? Go Be through the portal, man. Because that's where the spiders went, and the spiders have our proton packs. Or do they? That is what all the evidence has led towards. And they have people working with them. Look at this jacket I found. Or they were eating people. Look it at that jacket seem, you found. Yeah, it doesn't seem bloodied. It has a couple tears in it, but uh -huh. that could have just been walking through the wood tears. Most likely, a person would have worn more than just a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just saying, you know, you unwrap candy before you eat it. You take the clothes off first. Just the jacket? I want to eat the rest of the clothes. <laughs> Maybe they Boots were going delicious. to surprise their lover and were doing the, you know, just an overcoat, nothing underneath it. Except I'm more of a suit jacket. Maybe they were very short. <laughs> <laughs> and their lover was very, very big. And, and they didn't like shoes or socks when they're walking through the city in their suit jacket. <laughs> Bacon. Listen, I don't kink shame. You shouldn't either. <coughs> this yes, is a place of love and forgiveness, not kink shaming. Kink you monsters. shaming is my kink. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. Then. Just make every humanoid we come across some sort of freak. <laughs> it's fine, Thanks. as long as somebody gets off on it. <laughs> so, but yeah, let's go, let's go to a demonic realm. And yeah, let's waste. do it. Or at least waist leg. Uh, is Austin the only one who broke his shield? Why is his shield broken? Because he took, like, one of them at least hit 20. One grenade. Yeah, grenades. Oh, yeah, I threw grenades You, you, you happened to his shield. Why is your shield broken? <laughs> you threw it grenades at me. Uh, it, it didn't get through the aid damage. Hmm. The aid HP. I can use more temp HP. Okay. And then I'll de well, it's probably been a minute, over a minute since then. I'll use another first little spell, free summon that, and... In my defense, you should have dodged. <laughs> I'll, I'll have in tip HP for everyone. I already have that. Yes. Well, have 11 more. Okay. That overrides the current 11 you have. Do you have to get rid of your previous amount? No. Oh, yeah. Well, I slept since then, so yes. 
Yeah, no, that was this Yeah, it was eleven this morning. It just didn't erase. Oh, you just didn't change it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So you were cheating before now. Now you're not cheating. I get it. <laughs> Let's be fair. If things actually attack me, I'm gonna. It's gonna burn through that, and an extra two HP is not gonna matter. <laughs> but Buffing, buffing yourself with two HP. Mm -hmm. Two HP buff. Legendary two HP buff. Yes. Me with what I feel is a reasonable 17 AC versus 22, 22, and what 20, 21. No, I'm 18, 19 right now. Oh, okay. Because I helped him. Yes. <laughs> Yet still being the weakest, and if something looks at me funny, I will just explode. <laughs> target you more, thank you. Why don't well, you that's why I always take the hide action, because I have been targeted and gone down multiple times. Why aren't times. you wearing better armor? And he does have my ring, so... Yeah, but only sometimes you cast that. It's not permanent. Yeah, because it's not permanent. Though. Yeah. So we get our stuff together, get prepared, then and send Austin through a portal. <laughs> and you're usually pretty good about avoiding this. I don't know if you need to. Yeah. Hmm. Except for that one time. Mm. So yeah, you fly your way up. You have enough ways to do that, I'm not... <laughs> um, but yeah, so there is a uh, rippling portal. Uh, one, well, one side has ripples, the other is just, like, fog. Could be mistaken for a low-hanging cloud here within the trees. So, but we've been through portals. We go through the ripple, correct? Usually, the ripple is the side facing the inside of the the one you walk through. Yeah, yeah. So we go through the ripple. Okay. Uh, so you pass through, um, uh, and you are flying on Karamaxis. Is that uh, correct? Yes. Okay. What did Karamaxis become a griffin? He should be a griffin right now. Yes. He's got cloud form. Cloud four. Cloud chief. Please, come on. Thor had flying goats, so can I. I'm not saying he can't have flying goats. I just remember last time Karamaxis was about, he was Rhino. That's been a while. He's not been a Rhino for like two okay. sessions. Yeah. Okay. Didn't he like die to a T Rex? Lightning bolts, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he is Cloud Chief now. Um but yeah, so you are still flying as you end up on the other side. Um the entire world has dark vision, so I don't need to ask that. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but you are just in a void of darkness and web. So it's the, the dark web. The portal is not that light cloud color from this side. From this side, it is dark as well. You can faintly tell it when you look and see the missing bits of web from it, but it is hard to necessarily spot from this, this side. Um, much as it was hard to spot when you were looking at it straight up towards the sky um, from the ground before, and you had to kind of get on its angle to see, it looks, it kind of camouflages in with the environment. Oh, is that why it was cloudy? Uh, take out my tracer and see if I can Figure out how do you do go you... through the portal? So far, he's the only one that goes. Through. Oh yeah. I well, once I once we all get in there, yeah, so I go like, next. we you stagger go next? out a couple things. So. Are, do you each have a way to flying, or is one of you on? I think I would be with Ryan. Okay. Right. And are you? You have a broom. I have a broom of flying. I'm usually okay. with Ryan. He would be with Vic. Oh yeah. Just hiding down behind the Vic. Okay. <laughs> right. Pull I out. can fly. I choose not to. Pull out <laughs> the. Uh, tracker, make sure I can get a lock on this and figure out how to navigate to find my way back to this hole. It make um, knowledge of some sort? Yeah. Arcana? Arcana. No. Only 15. Yeah, you have trouble figuring out exactly how to follow it. You can tell it's somehow like it's it's responding different from pointing in the general direction of the portal than away, but you know, it wouldn't be the easiest thing to follow. Uh, you, you would feel confident you could get, like, if you were near a, you know, if you found a portal, you could, like, check, like, is this the right one or not for sure? Yeah. You're not sure if from a great distance you'd be able to follow it through these realms to get back to it. And do I feel that's just an unfamiliarity with the object, or is it just kind of sucking bad? <laughs> 
Uh, your 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 perception at this point is probably somewhere between the two. You've not really messed with it enough to know. You yeah. haven't messed with tracking enough with it. You know, in the same room, you didn't bother yeah. using any of these yeah. at all the entire time since you've gotten them. Like you you like just opened up the container of them for the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> Can you put the tracker next to the portal on this side or? There is not really anywhere to put it. Uh, he could just use his little portal gun and make it stay in place. Chuck, chuck it in the web. Make it stationary. I think with the responding, I should be able... If nothing else, we can always slowly banish ourselves back to the material plane. <laughs> that is effective, yeah. I forgot that was an option. No. <laughs> Whatever... You, Whenever you're going plane hopping, you can either have plane shift or be a boss and just have vanish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting home one way or another. Yeah. Um, you do not see any of the dryers that have fled through here at this point. Mm -hmm. You've given them a couple minutes at the start. But yeah. Is there anything unusual about the webs compared to what we saw before? Um, what you saw on the other end were webs closely knit between things, uh, defensive on the outside, um, traversive on the top. You've seen traversive webs, uh, that were discarded for a while inside of the building. Mm -hmm. You've seen traversive webs between the trees in the building. These are s more similar to the, those used for, for tra traversing an area. But you cannot see in any direction what they are anchored to. Mm. They go off further than you can see in every direction, and they are only anchored amongst themselves. I would suggest we set fire and return home and close the portal. That's what I said. <laughs> now that we've been over here and there's nothing here, I mean, yeah, this looks like a evil spider dimension, so... We're SMU. looking for the tools to do more advanced portal closing. Yes. So they're probably not over here. Well, they may be through another portal. That's why I'm going to put the shrink crow together, scan for other portals. Well, I've made my opinion clear. Yes, set the spider dimension on fire. Mm. So noted. I mean, it's like so Australia. What are you, what are you trying to catch it on fire? <laughs> the shrink crow and scanning for other portals. Make a perception check. Before I do that, I set the shrink rows. I, I need to be good about this. Take drugs. <laughs> Get out some eye drops. Bloop, bloop. Mm -hmm. And up my wisdom. So that's the second little spell. Hmm. Do guidance work on skill checks? Yeah, of course it does. Of course it does. You can use guidance on them if you want. Bam. D4, man. D4. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why would you make Nick use a D4? Isn't it, isn't it you know checks? he can't. Ability and skill checks. I thought it was just one D4. Well, it's his ability checks. Yeah, yes, ability the check. skill is an ability check. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're the same thing. That's yeah. weird. Skill not, condition is too complex. It's not a save. <laughs> it's not a save for an attack roll. A uh, twenty-seven. That's pretty good. Could be worse. It'd be hard to be better. You don't... You don't necessarily see the portal, but you have a hard time seeing this portal here. Mm -hmm. But looking around, you can see what is probably around... mile... Mm -hmm. away. You're guessing. You're not really sure. There's really very little to give... Um, distance scale. Yeah, to give distance scale in this thing. But you see a point... Uh, you see a point of light. It takes a moment. And it looks like it's maybe a pair of, like, glow sticks. Mm -hmm. Like, light light sticks. Very and carried cool. by a couple of... Um, Who clo cloaked oh. figures riding on the back of those demon spiders. There they are. Let's and go. about the time you see them, they 
they disappear. And all you see is the spiders wandering off, Except splitting off from that point. They, the, 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 the light, the figures are gone. Oh, I tell everyone, listen, let's go after those people because the spiders haven't used any technology and none of them have proton packs and we know they're working with people and they probably just went through another portal. So let's also go through that portal over there in that direction. As I try very hard not to move my head. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are, fortunately, on the back of his. So you can just focus on keeping your weird... By the way, you feel... Vi- your vision, on the other hand, is a little blurry. Because you're close enough to him that you're in part of that bubble, but you're not at the center where it's helping you see anything. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> So I direct us towards that port. Make a survival check. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's also wisdom. It's the wisdom. Eleven survival eighteen. D four. Well, he doesn't have to say it. He has to say it before the roll is made. Uh, also, <laughs> just be over here muttering guidance. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah scouts, I was gonna say, scouts, isn't scouts. that only one per? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he would have to say it again. Um. But yeah, you're able. You're able to lead party simple enough over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you you make your way. Uh, it's a bit slow going unless you just want to trample attention through the webs. Um, trying hard but you're to t- the, the gaps between are big enough. You can make your way through. Just takes a little extra time. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyone who is proficient in Arcana can make uh, such a check. Not me. Not me. Uh, hey. 27. No nope. 12. It was a 12. You moved it. No. Oh. Uh, in that case, 16. 16. You're still the one that knows. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, with my plus, with my 25? Over 25? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, you you also kind of got it because at first this feels not only did the portals feel different, this feels like a different kind of behavior from a realm because your interactions with the other realms through the tears almost seems to rupture them in a way that the inhabitants are all right there. They're all pouring through that tear. Yeah, have... This is a wide open space, and and the others, you, you occasionally see, you know, a shadow of a drider around, but it is a large open space, and you're not seeing them just sort of gathered in that mass. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we've been taking this, this is a different divine realm to the ones we're used to. This is not a divine realm. This is definitely, it's not one of the realms of the gods. Those are documented. You know what those are. Oh. This is one of those lower realms. Unless it's a mystery realm of a god. This is a natural portal. Now, that's been the issue that happened a while back, was natural portals were opening up to non-divine realms. Mm. You've definitely heard of that. You guys have created one of the tears, one of the unnatural portals that's disrupting things. Those tears, those portals are a different style of portal than the long dealt with portals that have been most frequent that have been being handled. So this would be the kind of portal that has, for the most part, been worked on for a while. So when a proton pack opens one, does it open a stable portal or a tear? A proton pack, at least the one you have, does not punch a new hole. Oh, it can't? Yeah. Mm. It doesn't have a way to open up. It has to have a source. Mm. From the test that you've done so far, it opens up exactly what it is based on. So if it is starting from a small tear, it will tear open the tear. Whether or not it would tear open a normal portal or expand a normal portal, you're not positive. Mm. Okay, so... But it takes some time, and you do make your way around there um, two of you 
can make perception checks or one with advantage if someone wants to help or perception I will take good 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 uh 28 yeah you're uh, even much you you're able to find you know sort of as he's looking for things and passing by once he's like it's so we gotta be getting close to it there and you can see they've just basically passed by this fuzzy area of darkness that so from the other that's, side that's has faint ripples like oh, okay. dark shadow yeah. like over there yeah mm. compare mentally to where I saw them you, you knew you were getting close oh. you know it had to be around here so somewhere. dark shadows the movie or the TV show um unfortunately my only experience is with the movie uh, but this is really just like shadows that are like dark ripples, like the cloud-like so ripples on the other side. No Bartimus Collins. N well, I mean, it, it did have Bartimus Collins, you know, as it, played it by Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the TV show was great. Oh, that was yeah. the weird vampire one, right? Yes. Yeah, they made it in the. It was my mom used to watch it when she was like a teenager, and the best part was because the way they recorded it is it was basically like live TV so like the set falls down occasionally someone's dress caught on fire at one point like the most garbage effects it's hilarious <laughs> people would forget their lines and just like ad lib ad lib Good someone thing. accidentally called through the prop phone and like one of the characters just picked it up had a fake conversation hung it up and they went on with the scene <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's great who wires the prop phone to an actual <laughs> phone line I don't know I think they needed it going for realism <laughs> they needed it to ring and and I guess we no can do that differently now by just sending it to a thing and just sending an electrical signal yeah, yeah they needed they it could to do ring. that then based on how it works but you would have had to manually wire it yeah anyways on to the game so <laughs> we go through new portals yep let's go we cross the spot around and into the new zone Caves. Nope. No underwater, more caves. Underwater ocean deep crushing snake saves die campaign over. <laughs> no, it's gotta be caves. Uh, so we have props. I'd be fine. I'd probably be fine for a You find yourself in a dark cavern. Yeah, <laughs> see? But well, look, we got props. And that's where we'll pick up next time. Mm -hmm. Um you can roll your crypto cryptocurrency. Eight. Crypto the super dog. One. Could've been <laughs> two. Uh, quick question. Wait, what are your to do you do you guys offer your totals added or are you just I 55. have fifty five. Fifty one. Sixty four. Uh seventy nine. So you could afford a very rare now. Yeah. Anyways, join us next time for more. Bye.